after days and days of a never-ending protest and an unprecedented outpouring of anger coming in from across the country, Congress President Sonia Gandhi has finally woken up to take charge to ensure a stringent law for crimes against women. The final draft of the Congress's bill seeks chemical castration for heinous rape cases. The draft also provides for imprisonment of up to 30 years for rape convicts and setting up a fast-track courts to decide the cases within a span of three months. Sources say the provisions were discussed in the presence of party chief Sonia Gandhi on the 23rd of December when she had held a meeting with a group of people protesting against the gang rape incident. While the final draft of the bill will be submitted to the Justice J.S. Verma-led committee, the three-member committee headed by former Chief Justice J.S. Verma has been appointed by the government to review existing laws and suggest changes that would ensure faster justice and stringent punishment in cases of crimes against women. The committee is working on a 30-day deadline. Chemical castration, well, what is this? It is essentially requires the regular administration of a drug which comes down and reduces a person's libido. The decision may have been taken to cater to the emotions of the people, the demands of the people out there on the streets who have been protesting. Well, the Justice Verma Committee will, however, have to weigh the pros and cons of this entire procedure. Let's take you through the points that are working in favour of the move. Well, it is considered to be a more humane alternative to capital punishment. It's also being argued that it's a much faster form of punishment as compared to death penalty. On the other hand, it's not a permanent solution as the effect of the treatment gets reversed once it is stopped, once it is discontinued. It's also likely to expose the users to various health problems. Uh, what we in the women's movement have been saying all along is that there have to be changes to the existing rape laws and changes that understand the nature of violence that women face. Basically, there is a wide range of sexual violence and, uh, that women face, which the laws should recognize to not prevent anyone from raping. Men have raped in the most brutal ways using instruments. They do not have to uh, you know, be sexually potent in order to rape. It cannot be settled by chemical castration, not by long shot. So I think that these suggestions you know, are being given as an escape route. The real issue is that the laws must be gender just. And the existing bills that the government has proposed are far from gender just. No, it makes a difference in the book. Nothing else. I mean, as on today, the law is not creating any fear in the minds of the public, and it is not sufficient. And to create fear, a stringent law is required. And that law must be such that the moment they read it, people must shudder to indulge in that activity. Chemical castration should be the basic thing that people have to do or the criminal has to undergo. It should be the certainty okay, of crime. What is chemical castration? The female is dead and gone. Mental, mental castration on a chain. Abhi jag hamare desh mein koi aisa kanun nahi hai jo rapist ko saza de. Balki jo victim hai wohi saza paati hai. Rapist kabhi saza nahi paate. To mein toh iske bhoat hi saath de rhi hume government ka ki aise kanun, balki isse kada kanun aane chahiye. Sahi hai, is kada kanun se jo hai aur un logon ki matlab atma kaabe ki jo ye karne ki matlab smooch bhi rakhte ho. इसके लिए कानून सही है कोई ना कोई कड़ा कानून तो पारित करना चाहिए all right, so the clamor really going up as far as this entire stand, this draft that is being put forward by the government is concerned. Let's speak to Karthike Sharma for more developments on the story. Karthike, we're obviously talking about the Congress now coming out and succumbing to the pressure that's been put on them by these protests, by these peaceful demonstrations that are never ending, really. Just break down the details for us. How are the logistics really going to work out? What are the steps that are going to be involved in the Congress coming out and putting this proposal forward as far as chemical castration is concerned? You see, uh, the bottom line is that ultimately uh, Justice Burma will have the final say. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the suggestions which have been finalized on behalf of the Congress Party by Women and Child Minister Krishna Tirat. Mm -hmm. She uh, held a meeting with various stakeholders on this issue in terms of proposed law on Friday. A uh, lot of MPs are present, including Renuka Chaudhary, who happens to be the spokesperson of the Congress Party. Three things were finally decided that the Congress would like to forward it to J.S. Burma. One, chemical castration by which uh, they will have to amend the CRPC, uh, which 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 is which was suggested by a couple of women MPs on board. Uh, then certain NGOs proposed the second law that there should be a dedicated fast track or mm. number of dedicated fast track courts for rape cases, which was also accepted and agreed upon uh, by the minister. And third and most important was that 
if a case of rape comes the maximum punishment mm. should also be of 30 years uh, now in this architecture if you notice nidha mm. uh, they haven't proposed this penalty mm. because uh, then it has with it actually touches upon the constitutional part of the law which is rarest to the rare so it bypasses the controversy of rarest to the rare and then proposes chemical castration imprisonment for 30 years mm. and fast track court and they feel that this would satisfy the demand of the protest